Well, you saw all the dragonflies at the pond, which is just an extension of my swamp, and I'm having my yard. I don't think the wind has shifted yet. I think it's still coming out of primarily the south. It'll be shifting before you know it. All right, let's get in the barn and make myself a dragonfly fly. And see if I can't catch something. Y'all were bad yesterday. You ran off all over the place. Looks like we had some water coming in. Well, it won't hurt much. I still need to ditch the other side of the barn or make it so that water doesn't flow back there. Anyway, well, that was an epic flood last night. All right, let me get the tie on a dragonfly. Folks, this is a very unusual tie. I'm gonna use whatever thread I got. I actually tie this thing backward from a conventional point standpoint. The head will be on this end. And I need my old fly line. Let me get this thick stuff. I need old fly line like this. And that's what you start with. You tie this on. That's the first part. So this is old fly line. Now what I want to do is twist and twist and twist. You can't tell, but see how it's twisting up? I'm going to twist, 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 twist. And I'm going to take a point right about here and fold it back like that and let it untwist. There, see? Now I've got a tail. And I'm actually going to tie into the tail on this thing. Alright, that gives me my tail section for the dragonfly. And I can see that my camera's running out of battery power already. Alright, now this is not going to be a really beautiful fly because I don't think there's any reason to make it a really beautiful fly. Oh, what color should I make it? I probably ought to make it blue since most of the dragonflies I see are black and blue. Give it some color. With the number of dragonflies that are down there at the pond, this probably doesn't matter. But I don't want it to be just yellow. Right, I'll give it a little bit of that. Oh, I think I got some purple up here. Yep, I got some purple. It'll unwind it and color it. Let it latch back over itself again. Alright, this just gives it a little more color. And my fingers too. <laughs> Alright, now what you want to do, make the body section. And I guess I'll just, what I've got available to me real handy there's some black there's some black and some tan black and tan so let's put the head on first and all that is is one little old strip like this I'm gonna give it oversized eyeballs this this will make the eyes all you gotta do is Strap this stuff on. We're going to build it up. We're going to give it a fairly good sized body. Get this up to here, like this. Lash that down. Now we need a single feather 
You know, I seem to be missing some stuff up here. I think I've got some little critters that are carrying stuff off. Here's one. Here's a feather. Found one. That's all I need. This ends up being the collar. I'm gonna need some more feathers when it comes to building the wings. I've used plastic in the past, but man, does that make a dragonfly that is hard to toss. It will fight you all the way. All right, there's the legs. Let's latch it down. There we go. All right, now this is the head. These are the eyeballs. Watch what it does. Let me bring my thread back to the front. Probably got a little too much feather in here. There you go. See? Now that makes the head. Now the rest of this, I'm going to crunch it down because I'm going to build on top of this the rest of the body. Okay. And since I want the body to be purple, not black, we'll use some... Hell, I bet I've got some other thread. And I think I need to make this a triangle. This is a little pointy piece. All right, and we're gonna throw this on here like this. All the way up to the head, come back. Let's go right about here and scorch that. It looks okay. Now let me cut this back. I want that to taper to the end. shape it with the thread until it looks the way I want it to look. All right, now that is one nasty looking fly. I thought I pulled purple out. I did. I've made these a lot more realistic, but if they're keying in on dragonflies, it's gonna be the shape that matters. Let me see if I can find some wings. All right, these will work. A couple of these will work just fine. Get a few of them there the same size or close to it. All right, let me see. There's one pair. Let me go back up on top here. Right there. Now this might get a little tricky. All right, we're gonna X one this way. I want to this away. Okay, it's got a nice little X pattern to it. that extra hair 
Do it again this way. And that one right there. Pull that stuff off the base of it. And basically, I'm just trying to make an X pattern with the feathers. I do not care how long this thing lasts as long as it catches bass today. All right, now let's go back underneath. Let's clip off these long ends. Now those wings are way too visible, but I doubt if that matters. Just give them a little bit of a haircut. Okay. Let me whip this thing together. Probably very sparse white feathers would work best. Okay, there we go. There is one dragonfly. And boy, that is a messy looking fly. I'm going to tie it in right here, or I could tie it in there and run the line through here so it's nice and long. But it will look like that laying on the water, which I think is all I need. Boy, that is one messy, ugly looking fly. Let me color his belly purple finish him off and put a couple of big purple spots out here there look at that that's beautiful Ooh, that is pretty color his belly up a little bit white thread all right let's go see if it'll fool a fish okay I got my stuff together cats are on the porch dogs are in the backyard Ben's going fishing see how I tied it on I ran through the tail to the eye of the hook that way if the tail curls or whatever it don't matter it's not like about feathers are resilient let's see what this thing does it's pretty looks like a flower <laughs> since I have a real good idea how hard this thing is going to be to cast I'm going to go ahead and walk up wind so I have a wind advantage when it comes I knew something didn't feel right I heard it snap dang it I'm going to make a quick repair on this rod Real quick, that's the second break for this little four weight. Dang it. All right, well, it's about two inches shorter. <laughs> and probably not particularly squared up. Good enough though, it'll work for now. Infield repair. Let's get back Shoot, to fishing. That might make all the difference in the world. That might make it work better. It's gonna have to. All right. See how long this battery lasts, how long this fly rod lasts, how long the fly lasts. Long enough to catch something would be great. Okay, there's some movement up here. This one doesn't doesn't do too bad. There's, there's no twist in it. Boom, there he is. Ah, sunfish. Okay. That's how it's supposed to go the first time. Little old son fish picked it up. Common bluegill. He liked it and it worked. Built that fly backward, the head's forward on the hook. All right, if it fools a bluegill, it ought to fool something bigger. I think I've got a bass up here.
somewhere over there. I think there's a bass. Yeah, there is. That's what I'm looking at. One over there. <laughs> There he is. There we go. Just do nothing. That's the best tactic. Do nothing. I knew that fish would eventually pick up a dragonfly. That's what's out here. That's what's probably one of the things that they can eat. It's prevalent. This fish is a little bit thin. I didn't worry about him getting away, did I? He totally swallowed it. He totally swallowed it. There you go. <laughs> he wanted it. That's also why I do those things head down, head first. Tie that fly on there backward. Check you out. Yeah, you're a little thin, but you're getting something to eat now, huh? The stressful summertime's over. Now it's time to bulk up. That's fun, very rewarding. Tie a fly, bring it out here, catch a fish. Catch two fish. Thing. The wings itself, they expand when they get in the water. It lays there just like that. See that hook up front? That's a good design, easy to tie. All right, let's see if we can't make it happen again. It's probably gonna happen further down the side, but hell, you never know. Again, oh, matter of fact, look at that. Oh my God, that fish hit it right there again. So lazy. It's just an easy meal. I was not expecting that. Right there. Come on, fish. Oh, there he is. There he is. Oh, we didn't hang on to it. Give him a second shot. Just had a brim take a whack at it. Oh, look, there's a dragonfly that's hit the water. A pair of them. That's the only thing my fly doesn't have. I wouldn't expect them to last very long sitting like that. Maybe I ought to use them. Cast my fly out there next to them to see what happens. There we go. <laughs> that wasn't bad. I know they'll gather some attention. They are going to get hammered. That's a double dragonfly laying right there. Come on, camera. You can do it. It'd be really cool if something hit it right now. Oh, might have hit him too hard. Oh, right next to him. He ain't moving much now. Oh, he's gonna climb on my fly. Come on, dragonfly, get on mine. Come on, I'll drag you in. I think it's a pair of them. Right in front of it. How long it would have? There he got it. He got it. Okay, I'm bringing him in. I'm bringing him in. I'm bringing him in. He caught my fly line. Come on, hang on, dude. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. <laughs> I saved him. Look. I saved that dragonfly. <laughs> A real one. Boy, look at the eyeballs on that thing. Man, that is cool. 
I'll take really... you over here and put you on a on a limb. See if maybe you go to flying again after you dry out. Come on, climb up there. Climb up there. There you go. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Hey, we're neat looking. You can get a real good look at him so you can mimic it in your fly. Well, that's kind of cool. I <laughs> saved the dragonfly from a fate. Now maybe they'll take my fly because they'll be hungry still. Huh? Think maybe so? Doesn't look much like a real dragonfly, but it it works. There seems to be some action right in front of those goat weeds. Let's see what happens. Okay, that was a good cast. Let's put a couple of them right in front of it. Boom! Oh, that was perfect. Come on, fishy, fishy, fishy. jumped all over it <laughs> hope I get a good hook set I think I did yeah man that fish gave himself away let me get out of the water so I can pull him in about like the last one all right, come here, fishy, fishy. Come here. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Oh yeah, just a nice little bass. That's how it usually hooks them. All right, fishy, fishy. Thanks for coming. Playing with me today, it's been really fun. Yeah, this thing's getting all twisted up. Let's see if I can't get some of these twists out of it. All right, let's do that again. Maybe we'll catch a big bass. A great begging. All right, same spot. A little closer in. All right, now I got it tied on by the tail. Let's see if that helps the twisting. All right, let's go to this corner. Sun is going down. Might be a pretty sunset. It's got all the right elements. Partly cloudy sky, oh, and I just caught me one of those. There we go. One of those little burr head top things. I don't even know what they're called. Those things right there. Boy, they catch the heck out of your line. There's a bass in there. He just ran at the bank again. I started to go up on top of the dam so I could see if there's any deer out here. <laughs> That bass is sitting right at the edge here. Here he comes. Come on, fish. Take that fly. That fly is just barely, barely floating. Beautiful sunset. There you go, we're a little fishy. A little fishy. Picked it up. Oh, isn't that pretty? Right in the sunlight. As the sun's going down. Another bass. Yeah, about the same size as the other two. Come here, fishy. Come here, fishy, fishy, fishy. Oh, look at that. Hook set right in the corner of the mouth. Can't beat it. Goodbye. Thanks for coming. That one was in good shape. He's a little heavier. Didn't look like he was so hungry. Big corn up. Just fast casting. Come here. 
dragon. Dragon bass. Little one, small one of the day. Hey, that fly.